This chimp shares 99% of your DNA. It uses tools, learns sign language, even grieves its dead. By every measure, it's intelligent. So why will it never write a poem? Why did only one animal, us, break through to world-changing intelligence? If intelligence is such a winning strategy, if being smart helps you survive, then why aren't there dozens of species as intelligent as humans? Why do some say that only one African ape broke through while everything else remained, well, animal? The answer lies in a discovery so recent that most people haven't heard about it yet. And it starts with a near extinction event that almost erased us from existence. Dolphins have brains that dwarf ours in complexity. Some species possess more neocortical neurons than any mammal studied, including us. They have culture, regional dialects. They recognize themselves in mirrors, yet they've never built a radio. Elephants remember drought patterns across decades. They perform burial rituals, experience grief, pass down knowledge through generations. Their brains weigh five kilograms, three times heavier than yours, yet they've never wondered why the sky is blue. Ravens solve multi-step puzzles that stump human children. Octopi plan for the future and use tools with eight-arm dexterity, but none of them will ever ask why they exist. For decades, scientists assumed human intelligence was just animal intelligence cranked up to maximum. Bigger brains, more neurons, better processing power. This assumption was completely wrong. The difference between human and animal intelligence isn't quantitative, it's qualitative. We process information in a fundamentally different way that no other species has ever developed. When you point at three objects in sequence and ask a dolphin to remember them, the dolphin remembers the objects perfectly, but it cannot remember which came first, second, or third. The sequence information just vanishes. Humans may be the only animals that can faithfully encode sequences of events. Not just that something happened, but the precise order. This seemingly trivial difference changes everything. Because sequence is language. Grammar depends on sequence. Logic depends on sequence. Every story, scientific argument, recipe, and piece of music requires the ability to process information in order. Without sequence memory, you can be brilliant and solve complex problems, but you cannot build cumulative knowledge that lets you split atoms or send rockets to Mars. 930,000 years ago, something almost wiped us out. Our entire species descended from fewer than 1,300 breeding individuals. We came within a whisper of complete extinction. Bottlenecks don't just reduce numbers, they fundamentally change the game. When every decision means the difference between species survival or extinction, cooperation stops being optional. It becomes the only strategy that works. The survivors weren't just the strongest or fastest. They were the ones who could share information, coordinate actions, and build on each other's knowledge in unprecedented ways. This created the cognitive niche. Humans specialized in thinking our way out of problems. What made us unstoppable was combining intelligence with hypersociality. Other animals cooperate with relatives. Humans learn to cooperate with strangers, creating cumulative culture. Each generation stood on the shoulders of everyone who came before. Then we developed language with syntax and grammar, the ability to describe things that aren't physically present. You can teach someone to make fire when there's no fire around. Language multiplied intelligence exponentially. Human brains don't just have more neurons than other primates. Our neurons communicate in uniquely complex ways that create synergy, different brain regions working together to generate entirely new types of information processing. What we have are more interconnected brains that can process abstract information, plan across decades, and imagine scenarios that have never happened. This is why we became the only species that lives in time. Intelligence made us more social. Sociality made us more intelligent. Language made both more powerful. Culture preserved the benefits across generations. Each innovation made the next innovation more likely. Other intelligent species hit limits. Dolphins are brilliant, but try building a fire underwater. Elephants have remarkable memory, but their communication can't handle abstract mathematical concepts. Perhaps we broke through every wall not because we're inherently superior, but because we got lucky. We didn't just become intelligent. We became the only species cursed with the need to understand our own intelligence.
Other animals master their environment and call it success. We master our environment and immediately ask what's beyond the next horizon. We became the only animals that ask why. Why are we here? Why does anything exist? These questions serve no survival function, yet they drive us to explore and push beyond every boundary. We're not just the smart animals. We're the animals that will never be smart enough to satisfy ourselves. And maybe that eternal dissatisfaction, that relentless drive to know more, is what makes us human. The question isn't why we're the only smart animals. The question is whether being this kind of smart is a gift or a curse. Because once you start asking why, you can never stop. If you found this video interesting, like it, subscribe, and hit that bell for more wild animal updates. Next up, 15 fascinating facts about beavers. Don't miss out.